Greetings WordPress bloggers. Welcome to another tutorial from How to Webmaster. Today I'm going to show you how to get started with Google Analytics and add Google Analytics to your WordPress site. To get started, head over to analytics.google.com and then make sure you logged in and then click on start measuring. Okay, on this page, enter in your account name such as my sites and then these are optional but recommended settings so I would also recommend to check all these and then click on next okay in this step you will need to enter in your property name which is your website or if you're tracking an app you can also enter that here so my website is weightloss.pix so just copy that enter in just like that and here in the reporting time zone you can select your whatever time you're from and the currency this is for tracking conversion rates and in the show advanced options this is for a universal analytics property you don't need to mess around with that all right click on next okay in this step business information google just wants to know more about your website or your property and then that way they will show you more relevant analytics okay for my website i'm going to choose health and business size small and this is again not really important right now but just check the top one if you're unsure and that's good enough and let's create and here it gives you terms of service just check the box and then check this again I accept and here you will get an alert email communications this is to give them permission to spam you with offers and things like that if you want you can check these and save okay so just a quick little overview right now you're under all accounts my sites and weightloss.pix that's the property I just created and now you can create another property or another website if you want so click on that and I'm just going to enter in a property name my other site dogtraining.help and then leave everything as default there's 99 more properties that can be created on this account and then just check that pets and animal pets and animal small business create okay so I just created two properties now and right now I'm under dog training so if I click on that the drop down you can see I have my sites here and I have two properties and I can choose to open either one of them okay now let's go to WordPress to add in a Google Analytics go to plugins add new depending on your WordPress theme you may or may not have an option to add in Google Analytics but with a plugin it can work with any theme so here under add plugins search for Google Analytics just like that I am using Google Analytics by Jeff Starr here okay so install now and click on activate Okay, the plugin is activated. Okay, next, to access the new GA Google Analytics plugin settings, you can do that from the settings menu here and then click on Google Analytics. You will arrive here and here in this tab, you can learn how to use this plugin and then click here, plugin settings. This is where you will enable or add in your GA tracking ID okay let's head back to Google Analytics make sure you select your website property and then click on data streams you will need to set up a data stream for web right here enter in your website again and stream name and then it is default with these enhanced measurements in addition to the standard page view and other uh, default measurements okay click on create stream okay this right here is your new tracking ID so copy that and then go back here enter 
in or paste in the new tracking ID and make sure you select global site tag. This is the new method. If you're using the old Google Analytics, so right now this is the brand new Google Analytics with the global site tag. If you're using the old Universal Analytics with the UA, for instance, UA and then the tracking ID, and then you would check this one up here if it's UA, but if it's the new one with a G for a global site tag, then you would select global site tag. Okay, and then you have some additional advanced options down here, which you don't need uh, to mess with. Everything in default is good enough. Save changes. Okay, and that's pretty much it to uh, setting up Google Analytics to your WordPress site after you start getting traffic and then it will start showing up. So let's open this navigation. You can start seeing things like acquisition, overview. So right now I don't have any traffic because it's a brand new setup. So that's why you're seeing 000 and then tomorrow or the next day when you come, you will see some numbers here. Okay, I hope this helps. Thanks so much for viewing. Be sure to subscribe to How to Webmaster for more WordPress tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks again, and until next time, happy blogging.